das macht das ganze Thema Eisenbahn und das Hobby ja so schön und so spannend. Man kann sich sein Welt so machen, wie sie ihm gefällt. Waiting for the train can be exciting. Waiting for the new products from Maclean Trix and LGB can be exciting too. Please note that the models are hand samples. Now let's have some fun. Let's start with a class 44 steam locomotive in nominal size Havo, made exclusively for club members. This is a very unusual combination, a 44 with a top style tender. There were not many of these in the prototype either, so we thought this would be a worthy model for our anniversary 30 years of the Insider Club. It ties in with the anniversary model from five years ago, which was released for the 25th anniversary. There we had the Class 50, also with a top style tender. Yes, such a Jumbo is always impressive to see. The model, along with its many details, is largely made of metal, which is equally impressive. This model shows the locomotives in operation around 1950. At that time, the locomotives did not have a third headlight, but they did have the central shutter on the smoke box door. With the top style tender 22T30, it is an unusual sight to see this heavy freight locomotive with its open work ingot frame. As everyone knows, a beautiful train from the same era also appears for club members. We have chosen an engine that takes place in a special period, shortly after the war, until the mid-1950s. It was still an old express steam locomotive, for example, before the conversion to the new high-performance spoilers. The car set consists of six completely redesigned express train cars of groups 28 to 30. These cars have been missing from our program so far, and they fit perfectly between the pike cars and skirted passenger cars. As a set of six, they form a great unit with the 0110. The cars have interior lighting, and the final car is clearly visible. Massive yet elegant, that's how you could describe the appearance of the 0110. The eye-catching surface preheater above the smoke box door contributes to this. The buffer height of the locomotive and also of the cars conforms to the NEM. Two wings for the 44, which is allowed to continue after meeting the 0110. Suitable cars for the Jumbo can be found in a large selection in the assortment. For DC drivers, there are corresponding exchange wheel sets. But there will be another 44 in the program, at Märklin and Trix. Austria also has a class 44, from the time it came out of World War II. It has the diagonally forward-shaped circulation, dual headlights and also the large Wagner smoke deflectors. We find ourselves here in the time around 1949, so this Austrian locomotive is almost still in its original condition. Quasi fast schon Ursprungszustand. A set with three tank cars that are distinguished by their fine access ladders and brakeman's platforms is being released to go with the ÖBB Jumbo. All of the cars have different road numbers. With the class 94 comes another cuddly steam locomotive. Why this one? The class 94 hasn't been in our program for a while. That's why it's coming back in. An unspectacular locomotive, but one that you need again and again when you have to shunt or run short freight trains over the layout. This year we have matching cars in our new items program. And the customer will also find suitable freight cars in the catalog. Great prospects for all steam locomotion fans. Do not step on the track. The photographers are expecting a new train for the Maclean and Tricks program. 
It is reminiscent of a great offering from the Deutsche Bundesbahn that was launched in 1988. The Interregio was a highlight on the German rails. Everyone knew it because it ran in all parts of Germany. The concept of the Interregio was to integrate even remote regions into the intercity and ICE network. This was very successful. It is a shame that the Interregio no longer exists. Model railroaders can now keep this era in living memory, at least on the layouts, and with a suitable draft horse. The Interregios were everywhere which means that you can theoretically attach all locomotives of that time in front of it. But for the blue product color of the Interregios, a classic orient red locomotive looks the best with it. Most of the trains that were on the road had the orient red 103 color scheme. In principle, it is the model of the short 103 that we presented as a new design a few years ago. However, we have now made a few changes. For example, it is our first short 103 with a movable engineer. As standard, it has pantographs that can be digitally raised and lowered. And as a small highlight, we have created new wheel imitations, so that you can see prototypical wheels behind the bogies. The people from Göppingen have also put a lot of effort into the cars. We have completely redesigned the cars in 1 to 93.5 scale. And we have ventured into new territory. There is a multicolored interior. The tables were given an extra color scheme. It looks very nice. We also added LED interior lighting with buffer storage, so short powerless spots can be passed without flickering. Thanks to the interior lighting, you can see the beautifully designed interior. All models have a buffer height according to NEM, also the 103, which is slightly aged before leaving the factory. In addition, one of the cars has tail lighting, a beautiful train. Siemens has hit the big time with the Vectron family. And this success story is now continuing with the dual power locomotive Vectron dual mode. The locomotive can be used both on electrified lines and where no contact wire is installed, making the locomotive commercially more attractive. The classification in the locomotive numbering scheme is interesting. The locomotive runs under the series designation 248, which would be more typical for diesel locomotives. Rail Systems RP operates these machines successfully. The newly designed model, made largely of metal, accurately reproduces the locomotive with its differently designed locomotive sides. It comes into the assortment at Märklin and Trix. A variant in red will also appear. Auch bei der DB Cargo waren die Einkäufer the buyers at DB Cargo have also been active, placing a large order for 400 hybrid locomotives with Siemens. And when such a major customer arrives, the locomotive is of course adapted according to the customer's wishes. It differs from the class 248 in that the diesel engine has a little less power, while the electric motor has a little more, but also externally. The DB Cargo locomotive has a shunting platform at the front of each. In addition, there are small details in which the locomotive differs. It runs under the series designation 249. When you look at the locomotive, you notice the large air vents on the side. We will implement this in the model. Here too, you will be able to look into the engine room. There is also engine room lighting. And the engineer's workstation can also be illuminated. The DB model also has separately applied door handles and an imitation of the automatic shunting coupler. Both models have a buffer height appropriate for the NEM. Series 1100 of the Dutch Railroad joined the Märklin assortment in 1964. One of the historic engines has survived until now and can be admired at the Utrecht Railroad Museum. It is one of 60 engines built back in the day. After many years of absence, this true classic has finally made it back as a Märklin new item.
Ja, den wollen wir wieder auflegen als Retro-Modell. Yes, this model is finally back, but this time with a different road number to distinguish it from the original model. The new engine will operate as 1114. It'll be accompanied by a matching set of Rheingold cars. The train is depicted as traveling from Hook from Holland to Basel, which leads through the Netherlands as well as Germany. Together, this engine and train form an absolutely stunning ensemble. Gefahren ist und nach Deutschland gefahren ist. Und da haben wir sicherlich ein sehr schönes Zugset zusammen mit der Lokomotive und den Wagen. Reminiscing the original packaging from the 1960s, this engine will be presented in a richly decorated box, including a lovely drawing. Let's move on to a more modern train, which is used for intercity connections in the Netherlands. Es geht um den sogenannten Koplauber oder Kopfläufer auch genannt. This, of course, is the Koploper or frontrunner. We first offered this as a four-part unit many years ago. Now we are reintroducing it as a three-part train depicting the prototype as it did back in the 1980s. This new model comes with a ton of lovely details, including interior lighting. The original train used to operate between Amsterdam and Schiphol. The idea was to couple two trains together. That's why each train has a door at the front end to allow crossing from one train over to the other. The engine driver would of course been in the way. That's why he was simply moved to a higher level, which gave the engine its characteristic bump. This lovely train will also be available as a Trix model. A treat not only for Dutch railroad enthusiasts. Welcome to Switzerland, where we find this popular little machine. One of our new 2023 items is this well-known steam engine Haversack, which will join our product family for the first time. It will have telex couplers at the front and rear that can be controlled independently. The model is also accompanied by a freight train set made up of Swiss K3 cars. Each K3 car comes with an individual road number. Its sliding doors can actually be opened by hand. They depict the prototype cars as they did in the 1950s. With the Haversack engine at the front, these cars form a wonderful little freight train. But let's move on to an electric engine. Yeah, the yes, it's series RE441. This model is a well-known native of Switzerland. 26 pieces of Type A were built in total, each slightly unique in its design and features. So far, our version of the RE44 had two vent grills. The new version has been made from new tooling, which means the green variant of the RE44 will come with a row of windows and vent grills below on one side, while the other side will only feature windows. The engine therefore sports two different sides. Trix is also releasing its own version of the RE44. The engine features striking front ends with the prominent crossover doors. A high efficiency propulsion is mounted centrally, driving all four axles via carden shafts. The next Swiss newcomer is Modern Engine. Ja, die Serie 460 oder RE 460 kommt natürlich wieder ins Programm. RE 460 is joining our product range once again. However, this time the motor is mounted centrally, so that all four axles are driven, providing the engine with plenty of power for lulling heavy loads. It will be accompanied by a set of EW4 cars in the current intercity color scheme, which looks simply stunning in my opinion. It combines dark grey window stripes with striking red doors on a white base color. The EW4 cars will come in a scale of 1 to 100, but they would also suit a scale of 1 to 93.5. The 460 is a timeless beauty. That will also be a wonderful new addition to the Trix product family. The Swedish RC5 is joining the Märklin and Trix families as a newly constructed item. And just look at those nicely executed trucks. If you look closely, you will really appreciate the intricate design of the model, especially the depth of the underbody and trucks, which are so typical for the unique character of this engine. 
The model is presented in the classic orange base colors and includes a multitude of characteristic details. A set of four passenger cars of the Swedish State Railroad completes the look. This lovely train and the pretty RC5 were operating from 1990 onwards. For Denmark, Belgium and Norway. Representing Denmark, Belgium and Norway, the Nohab is joining our new items range this year. The Danish Nohab comes in red and white, the Belgian one in green and yellow, while the Norwegian Nohab sports a green color scheme with distinctive grids covering the windscreens. This engine really is one of a kind. With character, that is unverwechselbar. Had it's a fach a cool look. All three engines will also be available as Trix models, and their buffer height adheres to their NEM. A set of matching flat cars will be released to perfectly match the Series 52 of the Belgian railroad. They will all bear different road numbers and carry containers measuring 20 feet in height. Four axles on these engines are driven, which gives these hefty metal models plenty of power to pull heavy loads. It's safe to say that the Nohab family has gained a fair share of fame in Europe. It'll be a little while longer until the half O models will be released. In the meantime, model railroad enthusiasts can still draw inspiration from the impressive prototype engine. Next up is some real diesel power. In 2023, we will also be bringing a V100 in the typical red color scheme back into the assortment as a classic. The locomotive will have a current conducting coupler and, to go with it, a pair of three-axle conversion cars, each with LED interior lighting installed as standard and separable current conducting couplers. The V100 was one of the most prominent diesel engines operated by the German Federal Railroad. Back in era 3 and 4, it could often be observed with conversion cars in tow, sometimes also on branch lines. This ensemble depicts a typical regional train from around 1965. It is comprised of two pairs of passenger cars, just as it would have been on the prototype back in the day. Carden shafts drive all four axles on the V100. A rich array of sound functions makes this engine a highlight on any layout. While this engine will only be available as a Märklin model, our next diesel engine will also be part of the Trix Half O assortment. Initially, it caused a lot of resentment among the population because it made a hell of a racket. Rumor has it that people fell out of bed at night and dishes rattled in the cupboards. It must really have made a terrible noise. That was then rectified. A silencer was developed in Meiningen, which made things a little quieter. In the beginning, it was nicknamed Wumme, Stalin's late revenge, or Tiger Drum, because of the noise. The German State Railroad in the GDR used this engine from 1965 onwards. It was built in Luhansk. Its powerful 12-cylinder diesel motor put out an impressive 2,000 horsepower, which earned her the name V200. Despite the measures taken to reduce noise that we mentioned earlier, it could be heard from miles away, especially when it was traveling with long and heavy freight trains in tow. This pre-production version already looks stunning as it makes its way across the layout with the two new boiler car sets in tow. One is the Trix version, the other is the Maclean set. The 10 standard boiler cars have been slightly weathered from factory. Also von daher so an absolute cult locomotive, the Class 120 that we have implemented as the Tiger Drum of the Deutsche Reichsbahn. Although the pre-production version shown here does not have the full sound functions yet, it's easy to imagine that they will live up to the big prototype engine. Once it has dropped off its load of boiler cars at the depot, the mighty machine is ready to call it a day and return to the engine shed.
The buffers conform to NEM standards. A regulated high-efficiency propulsion drives both trucks via carded shafts. The next powerhouse made in Göppingen also has the potential to become a true classic. I don't think there's much to explain here. This is a diesel locomotive, if not the diesel locomotive of the Deutsche Bundesbahn, which was used on German tracks starting in era 4. It was used in local and long distance service, keyword interregio, as well as in freight service with over 400 locomotives, if you count the pilot series. A present powerful and reliable locomotive. We also have the snowplow on the front of this locomotive. That was, after all, a distinctive part that many class 280 locomotives got, especially the locomotives that traveled in southern Germany, where it snows more in the winter. And 218-499, which we have now implemented, is on the one hand the last series engine with the highest road number, and on the other hand, a locomotive that has this snowplow on the front. And of course, it also gets this beautiful detail in the model. Series 218 will be available both as a Märklin and Trix model. It will come with a brand new sound package that is still missing from this pre-production model. Macklin is reintroducing three cars of the famous Silverling in a red color scheme. They will all bear new road numbers and together form a typical push-pull train. Class 13 of the French East Railroad with its stylish design has been beautifully captured in these stunning models made of metal. This elegant vehicle is the perfect draught horse for the Edelweiss Pullman Express, a luxury train from the 1930s. Every single car comes in its unique design. The Etoile du Nord, for example, is totally different from the Côte d'Azur, which is why their roofs are also shaped differently. The model is highly detailed and comes with numerous extra pieces, most of which have been fitted from factory. So there is actually very little left to do with the remaining pieces that are part of the package. The interior design has been carefully chosen for each of the different car types. It is made from several parts and comes in a rich color scheme. These six cars bring a golden age of rail travels back to life. Buffer capacitors ensure that the interior lighting down to every single one of the table lamps in the saloon car provides steady illumination at all times. One of the luggage cars has been equipped with an authentic tail light. A truly amazing train, which will of course also be available for tricks. Our next new item is Series ET85. Our new model comes with the lantern mounted just underneath the edge of the roof as well as the grove air vents on top of the roof. At the front, you can still discern the crossover door, which was later welded shut. This model is also highly detailed, including countless mounted parts on the roof, such as the air vents. The vehicle floor is also very nicely done. In addition, the interior comprises several richly colored parts. Both vehicles are permanently connected via a multipole coupler. This model will also be available for direct current operation with Trix. The time has come for us to introduce the new Mini Trix track. In the first year come all the straight lines, all the curved track and the two 15 degree standard points, which have a polarized centerpiece, of course. It would be important to say that in the future we will no longer have a Radius 1 with this modern track. Let's start with Minitrix Radius 2, which has been thoroughly designed for all the radii of the 7.5 degree and 15 degree sections of track. And for the first three radii, for example 2, 2A and 2B, there are also 30 degree sections of track. 
And now for the trains that will later run on the new rails and delight all engaged fans. We have chosen the beautiful long-distance train Berchtesgadener Land. The FD1922 was chosen. This was legendary because it contained the famous Kinderlandwagen, the WRTMH136, which will appear as a completely new design for this train. This neat long-distance train can be formed perfectly from the three new car sets. And with the Blue 110, the matching train locomotive also comes in the program. But now it's about to get really colorful. This is the Guni, currently my absolute favorite locomotive. DB Cargo has really scored big time with this one. The aim is to attract a younger audience to the railroads. And since 2019, Guni has been traveling through Germany. The slogan is now known everywhere. No matter how well you drive, Guni gets it done better and even very noisy thanks to the electric locomotive sound. All four axles are power-driven on the model from the Trax family. Even passenger service is anything but monotonous these days. TRI stands for Tobias Richter, which has made a name for itself here. Everyone recognizes the white and blue cars. They are now increasingly running in the south, between Stuttgart and Würzburg, Stuttgart and Nuremberg, Stuttgart and Aalen. But they have also been on the road between Stuttgart and Tübingen and in North Rhine-Westphalia in replacement services. However, the trains are not only popular for replacement services, but also for special services, such as to ice hockey or soccer matches. A suitable locomotive for this is the MRCE Taurus in beautiful black. Another car can be added to the three-car set. Newly constructed freight cars are also available. The set includes four cars with a special feature. We are bringing the KKT62 side unloading car in an ERA 4 version for the Macklin dealer initiative. The special feature, one car is getting signs at the end of the train. And thus, you can extend your ore, coke or other trains with a car that is not yet available on the end market. The car set goes on scale in a limited series, which also applies to the class 140, the popular Girl Friday. The class 143 appears in a color and printing variation. It is the trade fair locomotive for 2023 and has a die-cast zinc body. And for the beginners, there is this freight train with 217002. The starter set already includes the new concrete sleeper track and a Minitrix power control stick. You will see more new items from Minitrix, including the club models, in the next episode of Maclean TV. Mini Club is beginning yet another chapter of finest manufacturing models with the SBB's RE442. The collection series of models cast in bronze is continuing to expand. A Bell Armature motor operates beneath the transparent protective lacquered casing. Black tones and bronze create an elegant color design. Exclusively for the Insider Club's 30th anniversary, the 441315 will be offered together with a kit of the Shouter as it stands in the Göppingen Company Yard. The order deadline is April the 30th, 2023. The series of museum locomotives is being continued. A model of the E19 in cobalt blue is available in a noble packaging made of real wood. A bell-shaped armature motor provides the propulsion. Era 3 is home to the Class 41 with a new construction boiler. Boiler and running gear are made of metal. The finely detailed linkage and the distinctive scissor brakes are a convincing imitation of the real thing. This Insider model is a completely new design. The ETA 150 battery-powered railcar with the ESA 150 cab car. A finely detailed train with impressively clean lettering awaits club members. But please don't forget the order deadline, 28th of February 2023.
The class 151 has changed its color scheme frequently. Currently, it is traffic red. Before that, it was orient red and a bit earlier, ocean blue beige. However, it was delivered in chrome oxide green design. Seven different beautiful versions will be available for the one gauge. The highly detailed professional models have pantographs that can be raised and lowered digitally with switchable telex couplers and many other functions. In addition, the engines are made of die-cast zinc with attached brass spinning parts. All of these features make them real treasures. The Pig Snout is an absolute dream model. A completely new development is the fact that it is made of metal and produced in six versions. These include the Era 3 version of the Deutsche Bundesbahn. The doors can be opened by servos. The propulsion operates with two motors on both axles. A dream model. Here we have a hand sample of the S26 in a fictitious color scheme with a highly detailed all-metal construction. The locomotive has a smoke generator that will delight its fans with wheel-synchronized steam output and cylinder steam. A few of the highlights include a stoker that rotates to mimic coal shoveling and the digitally switchable multicolor fire flickering visible through the opening firebox door. But there is much more to discover. This is the 990244 in the version of the Deutsche Reichsbahn of the GDR. This brawny resin locomotive has wheel synchronized smoke and steam, including on the cylinders. The running gear lights and cap lights can be separately digitally controlled. The doors can be opened to reveal the furnished cap. For the first time, this locomotive appears with oil firing, as seen on the tender. Three cars with new road numbers come into the assortment to go with the engine. They have interior furnishings and make a classic era for passenger train. Sticking with the steam railroad, we now come to the Ration Railway. The Rezia is produced as a high-end model in several versions. The super detailed model is impressive not only for its perfectly furnished driver's cab, but also its countless other fine details. This is an open freight car as it was once used on the narrow gauge networks in Saxony. It is completely newly developed, finely detailed. We leave Saxonia and head on to our next stop in the USA, where Amtrak is celebrating its 50th anniversary. To mark the occasion, LGB is adding two P42 diesel engines to its product range for the first time. Both locomotives come in the special anniversary design and will be offered with a set of matching cars. Finally, we land once again in the beautiful Grisons. The Capricorn is a completely new construction. As you know, the Ration Railway has ordered 56 units. So this ultra-modern train type will shape the face of the RHB for years to come. LGB manufactures the powered rail car and cab car with authentic sound and many other digital functions. For example, the coat of arms is also illuminated. The driving sound is even functional in analog operation. The pantographs can be raised and lowered digitally. Two center cars together with the powered rail car and cab car make a prototypical four-car RHB train, such as can be seen in the fantastically beautiful Rhine Gorge, and soon on many garden railroad layouts.